Is this happening to you? then you're in the right place for video game training. In this video, I'll show you how to defeat the bell bearing hunter at the War Master's Shack and get the bone peddler's bell bearing. If you wanna be an absolute legend and support the channel, then make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. My name is Azavar or Azza, now let's get into the video. I'll just show you on the map where this is located. So this is in Limgrave just a little bit east of Storm Hill Shack. This place here, War Master Shack. I'll just show you the gear that we are working with for this fight. We've got two Keen Scimitars plus eight, Kite Shield plus five. We've got the Green Turtle Talisman for increased stamina recovery speed. We'll also be popping the Flask for some extra stamina, Exalted Flesh for some attack boost, and some Fire Grease. I would actually recommend Lightning Grease for this fight, but I don't actually have any Lightning Grease, so we're just going to use Fire Grease instead. You should find that Lightning Grease pumps out a bit of extra damage, so if you've got any Lightning Attacks or Lightning Grease, then definitely use that. To be able to activate this fight, it will have to be night time, so make sure to rest at the Site of Grace, past time, and then until nightfall. What you may find is after you've rested until nightfall, the NPC is still in the shack. If that is the case, and all you have to do is press on the Sight of Grace one more time and then just back out of the Sight of Grace straight away. And then you'll notice that the NPC is not in the shack and that is your sign that the boss fight can now be activated. So once you've rested until night time, the enemy will spawn inside this shack just here. So we'll buff up first of all, pop the flask, food buff, pop on your grease, in our case fire grease. And we can get some free attacks in, so run on up. And get in as many attacks as you can do. And what we're going to be doing is looking to bait a specific attack over and over again. So we need to get directly behind him. Right here. Although he's not doing it at the moment, so I'm just going to keep on rolling through the attacks. There we go. There's a shield bash, one, two. And then... Try to bait the shield bash over and over again. Shield bash, and then one, two. Shield bash, one, two. Uh, sometimes you might find that he goes into those sort of standard attacks like that. Ideally, you don't really want those. You want the shield bash. So just get behind, attack, attack, shield bash. Just try to uh, get behind him. If he goes back into his wombo combos, just uh, try to get him back into the shield bash again. You might find that like baiting him outside the shack might be helpful because uh, when you're inside the shack like that, it's a little bit spicy, a little bit close quarters. Um, so just get that shield bash and then attack usually one or two times. You can also use the opportunity to heal as well. I'll try and show you a heal uh, if we can get the shield bash. So run behind. Try and get that shield bash. There we go. So heal now. Shield bash. Heal now. His standard attacks are quite delayed. So I wouldn't roll instantly uh, for these attacks. I would kind of delay it very, very slightly and then roll for most of his attacks. So shield bash, attack or heal. And uh, essentially, if you just keep rinsing and repeating that strategy, uh, you should be able to take him down. Get back to his back again. And get behind him. Shield bash. Attack or heal. Shield bash. Attack or heal. And that essentially is the fight. So just uh, keep on doing that. And you should be able to uh, take him out. There we go. And we also get the bell bearing as well. 
Hopefully you enjoyed this video and it helped you out in some way. If it did, remember to like, subscribe and drop a comment. You can check out all the other content that I make at azavar.com. The link is down in the pinned comments. That's azavar.com. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.